Hi, uh, today I would like to present you the exercise sculptor, which is, I believe, a new and more interesting way of practicing linguistic skills. So, very quickly, the motivation for the exercise sculptor comes from my frustration at learning German pronouns. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, you have three different genders in German and many declinations, and the pronouns change a according to many variables and it's very hard uh, to, to gain mastery over it. So I took to practicing uh, this skill on the internet, on various language learning websites. And, you know, I was asked to fill in the blanks in sentences like, yesterday I went to the cinema and bought some popcorn or my brother's friend uh, took us on a trip. You know, so those kind of very mundane and frankly boring sentences. So, uh, I thought it's, very too, it's really too bad that the sentences don't happen to be interesting. Like, for example, uh, I don't know, Proxima Centauri is the closest star system to, to, to the Earth, to the solar system. You know, interesting facts, or I don't know. So, this is what I did in order to remedy that. So, uh, I wrote this basic program uh, that helps me to practice my grammar. So... Uh, with, you know, my very humble programming skills. So it doesn't get more basic than that in the way of a graphic user interface. But here is uh, what I call the exercise sculptor. And so it's pretty self-explanatory. So sculpt an exercise from. From what? From something interesting. And where do you find something interesting? On the internet, anywhere, in a book, on, on a news website. There are many interesting things out there. And the, the idea is to turn those things into an exercise. So in my case, uh, you know, I'm a physics aficionado, so I am quite interested in Albert Einstein. So I can just go look for the Wikipedia entry on Albert Einstein in German. So you have many versions of Wikipedia entries. This is quite a useful resource when it comes to learning languages. I can copy a passage from this article, you know, uh, it's interesting, it's talking about special relativity, quantum mechanics. I go to my little interface, I paste the passage here, I tell the program to remove D, der, das, den, those are the pronouns in German, and I say start game, and here is an exercise for me. So this is that very passage I just copied, but with D there, that's then sculpted out of it. This is where the name comes from. Um, and so now I have to fill in the blanks, so you will pardon my mistakes. Einstein's Aufwerk, uh, D, yes, got that one right. Uh, so the thing is, I'm filling filling in the blanks, but this is interesting, you know, I'm reading about Einstein. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Publiziert uh, er die Allgemeine, okay. Auch zu Quantenphysik lasst er wesentlich beitragen für sein Verdienst um den, oh, it was the. So, yeah, uh, you see that I have exclamation marks here around then because it wasn't the right answer. Uh, okay, and let's fill in, you know, a bit randomly the two last one in order not to make the video too long. Okay, so I just finished the game. So I can click exit game and I get a chart here. Uh, this is my progress chart ever since I started using uh, the app. So this is not very representative of what would happen with a person using the app correctly. So I was just te testing it. So our score must be just, uh, it must be this one, the, the most recent one, around 40%. Let me check that, yeah. So the score was 40%. Of course, you can apply this to any language and many uh, grammatical rules. So let's say now that I want to practice my French. You know that many English speakers have difficulties when it comes to French because the, the nouns are gendered unlike in English. So it can be quite tricky. And so if you want to work on that and not in the tedious usual way, 
you can go say, yeah, this is an interesting website, the WHO, you know, it has a French version. And so, yeah, I can click on the first article, plus d'informations. All right, uh, I can copy this passage into the app. Let's see, we'll just replace that into the app. And this time I'm going to sculpt le, la, and les, which are the French pronouns out of the text. Uh, so it's going to remove le, la, et les. Let's start the game. Okay, and I have another exercise. L'OMS travaille en étroite collaboration avec les experts mondiaux, les gouvernements et les partenaires pour élargir rapidement les connaissances scientifiques sur ce nouveau virus, suivre la propagation, la virulence du virus et donner des conseils aux pays et aux individus sur les mesures à prendre pour protéger la santé et empêcher la propagation. Yeah, French is my mother tongue, so that would... That was quite easy. Let's do a third example. Let's say you want to work on your Spanish and you go maybe to elpais.com, which is one of the main you know, news providers, uh, an article like this one, and you, call, you, you paste it into uh, the interface. And here you see that you don't have, let's say you want to work on pronouns. Let, let's you know, let's work on pronouns in all languages available on planet Earth. Uh, and you see here that in this list, I, I don't offer you el, la, las, los. But you can customize uh, the way you want the program to work for you. So you can type here el, la, las, los. So you have the text to be sculpted, what is to be sculpted out of said text. Oh, I forgot to exit the game before that, so here is my little progress chart with, you know, one additional dot corresponding to our last game. And normally, if there isn't any bug, uh, I would start the game, and it works. <laughs> it's, it's so nice when it works. Uh, España llegó a la última cumbre europea dispuesta a sacrificar parte de Los fundos regionales que recibe. Oh, yeah, yeah. And let's just do it at random. You can also exit the game without finishing it. You can totally do that. Okay. So here you saw one more functionality that adds to the versatility of the program. Not only can you work on any language, but you can you know, tell the program what kind of exercise you want to get out of the article you give. And of course, oh, I just received a message that wasn't supposed to happen. And yeah, uh, the, the only drawback for now is because I, I'm not in any way a professional programmer. You will have noticed that. So uh, in order to open, to launch the app, you have to be familiar with uh, the terminal of your computer and its file system. So I would recommend uh, installing something that is called uh, the Anaconda distribution. So this is all programmed with Python. Uh, the programming language Python and Anaconda is one distribution for, for that language. So if, you're, if you don't know anything about programming, uh, you know, in a few words, I would say install Anaconda on your computer and then watch a tutorial on how to navigate the file system and launch a Python file. And that way you will be able to use the app. This is all under a Creative Commons license. So I really hope that somebody with more experience in software development than me will be seduced by the ID the, of the exercise sculptor and, and take it to a uh, to another level, you know, in the way of a more dynamic uh, user interface, uh, you know, a traditional app, which you just have to double click on and it launches. You don't have to go through the terminal of, you know, your file system and all of that. So this was the exercise sculptor. Uh, if you want more details, you can read the short presentation paper I, I, I wrote, uh, whose link you will find in the description. Thank you for bearing with me and I, I bid you all a very pleasant day. Bye bye.